So let's talk about something, okay? Because I've gotten mostly positive comments, and I, I don't mind getting negative comments, but when I get somebody in my comment section that just puts wrong, it's like, can you be a little bit more, you know, can you, are you capable of a sentence? I, uh, so I just block that person because it's, it's, I'm all for having a debate or a discussion with people, but it, it, look, I, I see people that still believe in this rapture stuff. First of all, this came way later. People seem to have this belief that it's always been part of the whole teaching. It hasn't. It came it came really along the, with your Left Behind series, you know, your Kirk Cameron, your Hollywood. Um, and and if you if you if you use logic, I mean, Jesus, God expects us to use logic with spirit. Those those are the two main things. Logic should tell you that it, when John started dictating the last book of the Bible, Revelations, what does the first sentence say? These things will soon take place. Soon, God is serious about the words in His Word in his Bible, in his book. Serious about his word, his word. Um, soon meant as soon as John was finished. But people have been made, have had different ideas about it. And then part of the problem is the going to seminary school. There should have never been seminary school because that's where the wicked one would take hold of things. I mean, the wicked one took hold of the Catholic Church, all these religions, a long time ago. And what does he do best? He, that wicked one uh, deceives, deceives, causes confusion and chaos and all these religions that I just don't want any part of any. Never realizing it's not about religion. It's not about you hearing from a priest. I mean, simply, you know, John, the disciples, they went out and they spread the word. That was it. Yes, I know they built a church, but it didn't take long. Do you think God didn't know it was, it was going to be really quick by the time the Roman Empire got in there and overtook it or vice the corrupt uh, priest and, you know, them in their hats. They wore everything that God, Jesus was against where they were just glorifying themselves. But here's the key. If you've woken up enough to wake up to the fact that you've been lied to, right? We've been so lied to about many things then how can you not look at the Bible and see that too? And not that the Bible is lying. It's not. It's, it's, you, just, you can tell no man could write it like that. It, 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 because of the fact that it applied back then, it applies today. It always applies because it's the, it's the continuing repeating story. But the rapture came later, and it's based on a verse in Daniel. And, and, this, it, and air didn't mean sky. Basically, heaven and earth are the, the, the bridegroom. They finally come together the way that it was meant to be in the beginning with heaven on earth. But there's the firmament that separates us from God. Doesn't mean God can't see. I know this is so hard for many people to imagine. And why is that? It's because you've been, um, con you've been um, um, conditioned by what this world says, this world that God said the wicked one runs. So that wicked one runs everything. I mean, yes, it's the 13 families. It's your black rock. It's all that. But it's the very, very, well, let's say the very, very lowest part of that, that the ultimate string of the, all of those strings is that wicked one. And he's been in the universities, most especially. He's been in the science, most especially. He's been in government, most especially. And where he took home up early on was in the church. Because he is, knows how to be deceptive. He knows that's where he's got to have control. So when all the priests and pastors and all of them went to different seminary schools, they, they weren't learning the way that God wanted us or Jesus wanted us to learn, which was through the Holy Spirit. That was to be your teacher. It doesn't mean you shouldn't gr uh, gather together to worship and Bible study and all of that or even listen to somebody give a sermon. But it's about you knowing the truth, not about what somebody else tells you. And I'm sorry, but everything's been telling me for a couple a while now. 
that there's no rapture, no pre, post, none of that. There's this idea that God's going to save you from all of it. God said you have to walk the tribulation. You have to. If you're living in the end days, you should see it as a blessing. But people have it in their minds that uh, the, the way that it's talked about in Revelations, it would be exactly this happened, exactly like. No, a lot of it is a metaphor. A lot of it, too, is happening on the, the, the heavenly realms. So it can get very confusing. But because God, or because John dictated the vision he saw, which was that these things will soon take place, means they were starting to take place as soon as John finished writing it, which think about how far back that is. So most of that tribulation has been playing out over time. Air, air didn't, this, where they get this verse with the air, air didn't mean sky. And it, 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 it meant air, it, Jesus coming here. Why is Jesus going to rapture you out of the earth that he's coming to rule over and create his kingdom in? There's, it's always been designed because it would keep Christians complacent. Because you could think, I don't have to worry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be out of here before that stuff starts. Don't you see that's the what the wicked one would want you to think laughing and then saying, yep, see, you're all stuck in it. And then people get afraid, well, I don't want to have to take the mark. I don't want to. Well, some of this stuff just comes down to what are you going to do? Because Jesus had to sacrifice. Then he said, those that walk with me, they have to sacrifice. You know, they're going to they're going to find that, too. Not sacrifice ult as a, the way that Jesus did, but that you're going, you're going, you have to walk the walk. Do you think that you can get into the kingdom of heaven just based on not walking the walk? I don't think so. I, I think Jesus's life represented what he expected from us. And although nobody ever having to um, it, um, endure what he endured, we would have our own tribulations to have to endure. And, it, and, and if you're at the end and you're in the book of Revelations, which it's always been going on before we were born, it's just nobody knows, nobody knew where we were at in it. Well, I realized in the last year, no, we're at the end of it. Because most of everything's already taken place. It's just that your priests and your pastors and these um, different people have told you, this is what this means, this is what that means, instead of you going to the, the true teacher, which why did they call Jesus rabbi? Because it meant teacher. That's who Jesus wanted you to go to. That's why he said, I'm sending the Holy Spirit. So you won't go to men who might lead you astray. So I'm just saying, are you fully awake yet then? Because if you think that all of a sudden the, the revelations would take place like 2,000 years later, then, then that would, that would di disregard God's word about what he says about these, soon, these things will soon take place. They were taking place right away. Um, I just saw a video, and this so lines up with what I was saying in that video where some people were saying, wrong. Um, in my comment section, where I said, no, the storm is upon us. I just listened to this woman. I don't know if she's in, where she is, Pennsylvania. Or so, and there, there's this water, water, uh, water contamination now, and she's crying. And you don't see her face, but she's showing the news. And she's, like, hysterical, you know, and she knows they're trying to do – but she's in a panic. And this is what I mean. If you're not, if you're not grounded with, with Jesus Christ – that's what will happen. You'll you'll go off. You, you'll just get you'll get uh, p terrified, especially if you're awake enough to know that they don't have good plans for anybody. But they're not. Ultimately, they're not going to be successful. But you're not going to know that unless you yourself reach out to Jesus, to reach out to God through Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit. And start working on that relationship instead of trusting what everybody's told you your whole life. Clearly everything, most everything we've been told has been a big lie. So I'm not, I'm not going to go back and forth with comments. I took them down yesterday because a commenter said, why don't you just take them down, Bethany, and save your energy? And I thought, you know, she's really right. But then I don't feel right doing that. So I ended up putting them back up. But some of these ones that are just going to be, I'm just going to delete them. 
because it, I, it should be obvious. And I think enough people see it like I do, right? That the thing that's, there's nothing that was taken, there was nothing that was twisted with the Bible. We have what we need. What's twisted is you have to step out of the mindset of how you were taught about the Bible.